Hey y'all, welcome back. My name is Crystal and today I've got a book chat video and we're gonna talk about my May TBR. And um, I've never done a TBR, you know, for the channel yet. So basically I just like to kind of narrow down my, my unread book choices. And cause I have a lot of unread books and I'm a Libra, so I'm not very good at making decisions. So I like to narrow down my choices. <laughs> And then of course I got book clubs and read-alongs and buddy reads and all that kind of stuff too that I like to do sometimes. So here's my narrow down selections for May. <laughs> so we'll do some book club stuff first. I personally love a book club. That's just me. So, and I, I do a lot of them. So uh, the one that I run with just some friends of mine, I started, I started it last year, 2020, to kind of help us get through 2020. <laughs> and um, I pick a theme basically for the month and then we nominate books and we vote, you know, that's what we read for the month. So our choice, our theme for May was a cozy mystery. And um, what one was Can't Judge a Book by It's Murder by Amy Lillard. It's a cozy mystery. I'm sure there's a little small town, mystery, mood. It'll be fun and cute. Now I'm gonna, I think I found the audiobook for this one for Hoopla or something, yeah. I have, I am a part of Rachel over at the Shades of Orange, her Patreon book club, which I love. I love being part of that. And our choice for May is Last Days by Adam Neville. Um, I will be getting this one from the library. I haven't picked it up yet, but um, I don't know too much about this one other than I know there's a cult involved, which I personally love. Um, that's about it. That's about all I know, and that's fine. <laughs> I also will be taking part of Brad Proctor's Spinebreakers Book Club. I will link his stuff below. And we are reading Boy's Life by Robert McCammon this month, and I'm really excited. I've never read it, but you know, it's kind of one of those books that's always been on my radar. Of course, I've heard nothing but really wonderful things about it. So I'm um, very excited to get into this one. I had Swan Song on my sort of overall TBR for the year and I hadn't gotten to it yet. So I'll be reading Boys of Life before I get to that one, but that's fine. Um, so I'm excited about it. And um, we discuss his, um, these books over on Brad's Discord. Um, but I'll link Brad's channel below. So excited about that. And I also do Getting Hugga With It, April's uh, book club. And this month, the choice is A Keeper by Graham Norton. I don't know a thing about it. I found the audiobook on Hoopla, I believe. So I'm going to fit that in that way. <laughs> it's fine. All right. I think that's all my book club stuff. Now I'm still doing the kind of read-along that's happening for the Malazan books, so I'm going to continue on with Memories of Ice. Um, I'm basically giving myself two months for you know these books because they're really big. Um, I didn't get quite as much progress in April that I wanted, but you know, April's not quite over yet. Maybe I can at least finish part two. That way I have part three and part four left for May. Mostly, I don't know. Um, I'm loving this so far, so... I'm enjoying this and like I said I'm pretty much just kind of buddy reading this with Jason over at Jason's Weird Reads and we're chatting about that in his discord. I'll link his channel below. Okay now I think that takes care of all of my buddy reads, book clubs, all that kind of good stuff. So of course I kind of fill in with other things so I'm going to be continuing on with the Dreamblood duology by N.K. Jemison and reading The Shattered Sun. Um, this is a fantasy world um, that has basically like dream magic involved in it with some political intrigue. I really liked book one. Um, so I want to finish out this series and then like a check mark on my series red list will be great. That'll be great. So I'm going to finish it out with The Shattered Sun. This one's a little bit longer, but we'll get it done. Let's see. I also want to read um, Goddess of Filth by Vic Castro. And, um, I don't know what this one's really about either, to be honest. I don't really want to, whoops, I don't really want to know. I just want to go, I just want to go in and read it. <laughs> I don't remember totally what it's about. I just know I wanted to read it when I heard about it. 
got it in my night worms so it's super short so that can happen we can make that one happen <laughs> speaking of series i had this one on my april tbr just not gonna get to it dune messiah this is book two in the dune series you know i wasn't gonna finish i wasn't gonna love uh, you know continue on with this series i wasn't gonna do it I'm doing it because <laughs> I'm just I'm now I'm really curious what's happening what's gonna happen next so yeah <laughs> very excited about that let's see I also would really like to try to get to Pachinko by Min Jin Lee uh, this is a book that it is on my like 21 2021 TBR uh, and it was a book recommended to me by my sister and she absolutely loved it and so I was like okay I will try to get to it soon get another chunky one but I've really heard nothing but good things about this one as well I know it's sort of a generational family uh, a family story um, we pick up with a young uh, Korean girl who I think is pregnant out of wedlock in like the early 1900s and this sort of older Japanese man says that he will agree to marry her but she has to move to Japan and you know there's some friction between the Korean and Japanese at this time and I think it just kind of like I said goes from there and we follow it through generations of what what that decision meant I'm supposing um, I feel like again I've heard nothing but great things and this cover so beautiful so Pachinko by Min Jin Lee let's see a more physical book another one that I did not get to in April I don't know my April TBR just got a bit derailed it's fine <laughs> I really want to read Night Film by Marissa Pessel and this was also on my you know 2021 TBR to try to get to this year so I really do want to get to it <laughs> again heard great things about it and it's um I think here we're dealing with we've got a young girl that get um a young girl but a young woman that gets that is found murdered she's like the daughter of this sort of like a mysterious you know um film filmmaker like avant-garde filmmaker who has also i think been missing and then this guy sort of um is obsessively trying to figure out what's going on i think is the gist of it i don't know for sure but yeah, this is one of those books that has um you know it's got sort of mixed media like emails and um, newspaper articles and you know photographs and things like that so I just want to read this it just sounds really really good so got a couple of ebooks too that I want to get to this year this year this month and oh lord um well I guess just I guess just one so census by Jesse Ball is yet another one that I did not get to in April and it's yet another book that I is on my 2021 TBR and um, I have not really heard many people talk about this one but it piqued my interest because it has a character with Down syndrome in it and I have a son with Down syndrome and so I've been wanting to read more books that have characters with Down syndrome just to check them out you know kind of see how they're you know see how they are are they any good that kind of thing and this one also is sort of I think like dystopian type story so we've got I'm not sure what happened, of course, in the world, but the the country is now like cities are sort of named like alphabetically, so like A, B, C, and there's this census that happens, and we follow this kind of older man who's just just sort of found out that he is. Um, sorry, I'm listening for my son. That he is um, dying, like he's on his, you know, kind of some of his last, you know months or so and so he volunteers to be a census taker and sort of have this kind of you know see some sights and things like that and he takes along his son with down syndrome and and of course also wondering like well what's you know who's going to take care of his son after he's gone that kind of thing and um, along the way I think they meet some nice people so maybe not so nice people because I'm not sure what this census really is you know um so it sounds like kind of part road trip, part, you know, maybe some action. And I'm not sure. I'm not, it sounds super interesting to me. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to it. So definitely let you know how that one turns out. But um, I think that's, let me make sure I got my list, make sure I got everything. I think so. Now, now look, 
if I get the hankering, if I get the hankering, I might reread Betty again <laughs> by Tiffany and McDaniel because uh, Kelly over at Kelly Don't Bucks, Brad Proctor, they're doing a read along of this. And I loved this. I read it back in March, but if I get the feeling, I might could read it again if I find the time and the desire. I just might. We'll see. You can all link channels below. So just know what's going on, though, if you're interested in reading it along with Betty, because it's really fantastic. So if you want to give it a go. I think that's it. That's my plans for May. Um, a lot as usual. I might not get to everything, but that's fine. I like to have a lot of things to choose from. So what are your plans for May? Tell me what you're going to read below. Have you read any of these? Are they any good? Has anyone read Census? I want to, I want to know, I want to know about this book. So, <laughs> um, that's going to do it for me. I'll check you in the next one.